everybody, thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a video that I feel like was more popular last year, but I've recently seen a ton of these in my like recommended section on YouTube, and I'm like, you know what, this would be kind of a fun video to do. And that is my dumbest purchases in my 20s. <laughs> so, if you guys want to hear them, then please keep watching. Okay, so I am 25 years old, so I definitely have some years to come for more dumb purchases. Okay, so the number one thing, ugh, it makes me cringe every time I look at it and every time I think about it, but that is makeup. I went through a phase from like late teens to my like early 20s. I probably stopped collecting so much makeup like two years ago. That was when I like decluttered a ton of it and whatever. But I spent so much money on makeup, like makeup that I don't even use ever. Oh my God. It makes me so mad too. I just don't know like what I was thinking. I would just have to buy like the next new big product that came out. I had acrylic drawers filled with it all over my table. And then the Alex drawers, like I had so much stuff. And the two biggest things that I just bought all the time that I literally barely ever use now is liquid lipsticks and highlighters. I have a ridiculous amount of both and I literally never use either. Like sometimes I'll use highlighter, but I really just need like one highlighter and I have so many expensive ones. Like what was I thinking? I have no idea. So I did learn from it, thank God, because... Buying so much makeup like that, I just feel like it's so wasteful because it does expire and and if you're not using it, like, what's the point? So, yeah, I just have a ridiculous amount of crazy colors that I never wear. So that is probably my, like, number one worst purchase. Okay, the next one is Starbucks. And I've gotten a lot better with this, too. I probably get Starbucks now, like, maybe twice a month. Um, I really don't get it as often. But there was a point where I used to get it twice a day. Why? Like, it would be the highlight of my day. That would be what I would look forward to all day, which, whatever. So crazy. And I didn't even ask for light ice, so literally, like, I would be done with it so fast. Always ask for light ice if you get ice drinks. Always. And I still love Starbucks, but it used to be, like, on a whole other level. Okay, the next one is designer bags. I, my whole life, have loved designer bags. I still do. If you've seen my channel, you know. Uh -huh. But there's so many pieces that I feel like were such impulse buys that I just didn't think it out right. And they just weren't like practical pieces. I have sold a lot of the things that I don't use anymore. I actually have a video on my channel about the Louis Vuitton items that I've sold and why. So I'll link that below if you're interested in hearing like more about this. Even but Louis Vuitton items, um, like contemporary brands like Rebecca Minkoff and like Tory Burch. I used to buy a lot of those kind of bags and like I would like them for like a couple seasons and then I'd be like why did I buy this? Like I just wouldn't like it anymore. I don't know. And I have sold a lot of that stuff so I have made like some money back but nothing close to like what I've spent on it. So it's definitely... A regret and a dumb purchase. I feel like I'm a little bit better now about like thinking things out and like waiting a while and making sure I really want something before I buy it, but yeah. Okay, the next thing is alcohol and covers. When I was 21, 22, I would spend $14, $16 on a drink. I would go to Atlantic City a lot and they already have a cover to get in the clubs, but then the drinks are like close to $20 a drink. So I've spent like stupid money on expensive drinks like that where you could just like bring alcohol to your hotel room and like pregame before. But yeah, that's definitely something stupid that I've done that I'm better at now, thankfully. Okay, the next thing is fancier or like going out clothes with like no place to go. I have so many outfits in my closet that still have tags on them that I've had for like years that I like, but like I just never had a place to wear them. So that's definitely another dumb purchase that I feel like I still do. This is something that I definitely like still continue to do, but in my head I'm like, like no, I'm gonna wear it. Something will come up, like no. Okay guys, and the last one is hair tools. I, 
I use the same two hair tools that I've used for years, but I've still bought other ones that I never use and I never like and I know buying it like, oh, maybe you won't like this. I have like curling irons that are like a bigger barrel, which is stupid because I have such flat, like straight, fine hair. So if I curl my hair with like a bigger barrel, it falls straight so fast. So I don't know. When you find something that works for you, <laughs> stick with that. Don't go trying to buy other products that probably won't be better than the ones that you already like. That is something I need to work on. <laughs> but yeah, now I have a whole drawer filled of hair tools that barely closes and I feel bad getting rid of them. I should just give them away to people. But, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know some of your dumbest purchases in your 20s. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.